Hey guys, welcome to another video. So many of you have been asking for help with the theory test. So yes, this video is all about the theory and I'll be giving you my top five tips which will definitely help you pass first time. Firstly, you need to start preparing in advance. I think a lot of learners make the mistake of thinking it's okay to start revising just a few days before their actual theory test. No, it's not, because there's a lot of information to take in, and if you leave it last minute, you'll be trying to cram everything in together, which is going to make it a lot more difficult. It's actually quite similar to when taking practical driving lessons. For example, when a learner has never driven before, and they want to do one of these one-week intensive courses, which I'm not a big fan of because it just adds too much pressure. So my advice would be to start at least four weeks in advance, and revise a little bit every day, and soak in the information. Another key thing is staying motivated whilst revising. I remember doing my theory when I became an instructor and to be honest I did find it a bit boring so um, it was easy to like get off track on that but now there's a much more fun way to revise. The theory test app which I'll be recommending as my tip number one has created a highway code and road signs quiz and a road signs game so you can actually play and learn at the same time. How awesome is that? Here is a quick preview. My third tip is to understand the answers. So what I mean by that is, when you do answer a question, it's not just guesswork. You've actually got a good understanding of the answer. So some of the answers, they may be common sense, but there's going to be a lot of questions which you will find challenging. And this app has an explain button, which explains why it's the correct answer. So that will give you the correct knowledge and understanding and therefore the information will stick. My next tip is on the hazard perception clips and I feel many people struggle with these videos because they're not sure about when to click, how the scoring system works and the difference between a potential and a developing hazard. A potential hazard is a hazard but as a driver you wouldn't really need to take any action and a developing hazard is a hazard that's going to cause you to slow down or change direction and those developing hazards are the hazards you'll be scored on. So every time you click, the red flag will appear. You can click when you see a potential hazard, but you will only be given a mark when you click on a developing hazard, which in this video is when the vehicle in front stops to reverse. You can see the scoring zone below. The earlier you notice a hazard, the higher your score will be and the maximum score you can get per hazard is 5. And my final piece of advice would be to use the best theory and hazard training material. And what I highly recommend is a driving test success 4-in-1 theory app. It's a UK's number one downloaded theory app. I've always recommended it to my learners. I even used it myself when I became an instructor. It's got loads of awesome features, but the main thing I like about these guys is that they're so confident in their content that if you use their app and you don't pass the theory test, they will fully refund your test fee. Says it all. So all you have to do is follow their learner plan and if you follow the set structure, you're basically guaranteed to pass. And just like I said, if you don't, they will refund you your test fee. So guys, if you want to pass your three tests first time, then download the Driving Test Success 41 app. You will find the links in the description below. And like always, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.